Virgo, say my lovies. I said Virgo, say my lovies. What's going on with you? I hope you're doing well. I hope everybody had a good day. All right, let's see what's going on in your energy. I'm just going to dive right in. I did enough talking earlier. If you're looking for your prayer, it's on the video that I posted earlier today. Spirit, thank you for giving me clear messages for the Virgo, messages of truth, love, and light. And thank you for your divine protection, blocking and binding all negative energy entities, witchcraft, wickedness that may be coming up against this channel or our lives. Amen. Let's see. Intimacy. Sexual chemistry. Reminiscing. I did get us some new cards. I think these are really cute. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Sexual chemistry and reminiscing. So I feel like somebody is thinking about you sexually right now. Having sexual fantasies. Somebody who may be in a commitment. Or somebody who is getting closer and closer to you. Or they want to get closer to you. Somebody's thinking about how it would be if they were committed to you here. Yes, I see that very clearly. What else for the Virgo? What else for my lovies? It's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius says thinking about you and thinking about commitment. What else is here, Spirit? Communicate says compromise forgive working it out so somebody wants to talk to you somebody is probably going to be sending you a message they want to work something out um uh, i feel like something happened here you may be ignoring this person your guardian angel is watching over you a lost loved one watches over you i feel like for somebody this is your brother for somebody it's your mother fire sign show me clear messages please Oh, and somebody's dead or granddad. Is it a dad or a granddad? Um, narcissist. Someone is too full of themselves. So I feel like this fire sign is too full of themselves. I feel like um, they think very highly of themselves. This person could, I feel like they look in the mirror and look at their better qualities. Um, they could feel good about their body. They could feel good about their, is some type of feature on them that they are really like big headed about like they could have light eyes they could have super long hair um they could just have a really nice body um male or female energy all right but somebody is a narcissist and then we have earth sign taurus capricorn and virgo okay all right so i'm feeling like yeah oh let go it's right underneath that make room for the new beginning on its way to you now so some of y'all have a new beginning here that's coming in and you got to let go of this person, let go of this energy. I feel like this could be a twin flame energy with this fire sign energy. Yeah, I feel that very seriously. And then we got sexuality cards. So somebody could be struggling with their sexuality, still trying to figure things out. All right, I see that very strongly. Let's go ahead and see what else comes out for these cards. I have two new decks. Here is the other one. Very beautiful, right? Um, <laughs> no, it's not my new deck. I will have our new deck very soon. It's in the works. But this is a new deck that I got us. And I love purple. A lot of us love purple. Purple is the color of royalty. That's what we stand for over here. Everything that a purple heart stands for. Let's go. Okay, let's see what's coming out. So for let go spirit, can you show Virgos what they need to know about this card and why is it here? Let go. Wow. It says, experience the unknown. The door is waiting for you to walk through to, the, to something beautiful. Yeah, so I'm hearing that you need to go ahead and take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid to let something go that no longer serves you and move forward. Hold on a second, Virgo. Okay, love you. So, let's see what's coming out. So, we have experienced the unknown when it comes to letting go. Time for you to walk through a door that is more promising it has something beautiful in store for you so it's time for you to take a leap of faith i'm getting all right we got commitment so let's put these to the side and i'm gonna pull them out one by one all right so we got let go and experience the unknown so now let's see what else we have intimacy let's see What's here for intimacy for the Virgo? Dang. 
it fell on the floor. Hold on, y'all. Unbothered. <laughs> Next. It says, boy, bye. Losing interest, I don't care. Right. So this person, I feel like they pushed you to the limit and you really don't care. They take those, they take themselves way more seriously than you take them. Yeah. Let's see what else. Communicate. That is so funny. It says, boy, bye. Ciao, bye. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Communicate what's here. I feel like there's somebody that really really tried you and honestly you're over it it takes a minute it takes a lot for you to get there um actually sometimes it doesn't it just takes somebody acting mongoloid like they don't understand how to treat people and how an equal give and take works um we have romantic date let me take you somewhere nice i want to please you and show you the feelings i have for you so I feel like this person is going to be communicating that to you or there's going to be somebody new that communicates this with, with you and um, that communicates this to you and surprises you. Um, but I feel like this person is still trying to get in your good graces and you're over it. A lot of you, you're over it because they're in a commitment. Some of you, you're with somebody and things are getting real serious between you and this person. We have yearning, missing you, thinking about you, and the good times. I never had someone like you. So I really feel like somebody here could be going through some type of spiritual awakening or something. Mercury retrograde is really getting somebody, like, bad. These exes are really feeling it. A lot of these twin flames and soulmate energies are coming out of nowhere. <laughs> and I feel like you guys are experiencing that. This person is yearning for you. They want to show you how they feel about you. I feel like you're not taking this person seriously at all, and they're hurt by it. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Having a baby? Wow. It says, finally, I've been wanting a family with you. Mutual, it says, mutual baby love. Wow. This person wants to have a baby with you. This person can have no kids, and they want to have a baby with you. Or either they're in this relationship and they're going to be having a baby. Hmm. The runner. When I catch feelings, I run or fall back. I don't know what to expect. I'm working on my issues. So I feel like that's the problem here. This person is a runner. They run away from their feelings and their responsibilities. Yeah. But they want something with you. They want to settle down with you. It's you and this fire sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Also, you can have one of these signs watching you. Let's see. Fall season. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. You're mine. Wow. I feel like somebody could have met somebody in the fall. You could have connected with someone when autumn started or something like that. What's going on with this fall season? wow i love you i'm not giving up i want you so i feel like you tried to send this person packing and they're not giving up on you they don't want to let you go let's see yeah they're not trying to let you go they don't want to go anywhere I feel like in the fall, you could have saw this person. And I feel like they got feelings for you all over again when you saw them. Frustrated, tired of your shit, stressed out, overload, burnt out. So I feel like this is how you feel about this person. Yeah. And this person is a narcissist. I feel like somebody here is a narcissist. Show me narcissist. Doors closed. Wow. Not the right time for love. Just not ready. Heartbreak, something you saw, painful, heart hurting, sad, and depressed. I feel like this person has a heartache. I feel like this person saw a message from you or something like that, and you told them to kick rocks or whatever. Yeah, you closed the door. Not the right time for love, not ready. I feel like they're not ready, and you closed the door, or something happened here. Because they weren't ready, you closed the door on them, and this person really took it hard. Like, their feelings are hurt behind it. Then we got guardian angel here. Show me guardian angel. 
your guardian angel is saying no more chances i can't trust you you hurt me time after time lessons learned so your guardian angel is telling you to leave this person alone and then because very soon you're going to be engaged somebody is going to want to marry you and make you feel everything that you're supposed to feel that is so sweet and rejected separation split or time apart we need a break from each other i feel like this is the energy and for some of you this man has a wedding ring on so for some of you you could be having you could be frustrated in your relationship or for some of you virgo this person was frustrated in their relationship that they have going on now and they try to come towards you let's go ahead and get a tarot spread to see what the tarot wants to tell you about this energy Yeah, Virgo, I'm getting that you tried to give this person a chance. You know, you're very loving and kind to this person. That's why they keep coming back. Um, but that's just you. Look, ghosted. Somebody ghosted somebody, Virgo. I feel like you ghosted them. Then I feel like for some of you, this person ghosted you. And now they want to... I feel like somebody... Okay, so this is what happened. Look, a sneaky link. It says, I'm passionate about you. I'm ex it says, it's exciting when I'm with you. So I feel like this person loves you. Like they love being with you. And they want you to be their sneaky link right now. But I feel like you ghosted them. You know, you're like, no, I don't want to. You just didn't say anything to them. And I feel like they, they follow you. When you do that, they don't say anything either. But I feel like this person could have, somebody hooked up with them. And then they ghosted and so then you got pissed and you were just like, you know what, leave me alone. You shut the door like you're done with that, right? Somebody could be leveling up, making money, have a new career and it's very financially stable now. And you're just like, no, I don't want to deal with you. You're going to block my finances. I feel like y'all are not playing with this person. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Let's see. What does this person want to say to Virgo? Spirit, does this person want to say anything to my Virgo? Yeah, I feel like this person plays too many games. No matter how many times you try to take this person serious, they just do the same thing. I feel like this person is just going through the motions. Wow, they got a lot to say. I feel like they may text you. I don't know what I want. This is your twin flame. I knew it with that fire energy. I feel terrible for hurting you. So they know that they hurt your feelings. They know that they didn't keep their end of the bargain, whatever that was. It's something here. I feel like I ruined everything. They know they did. Okay? They know they did. And I feel like they were stupid a lot of times. Like you tried to tell them. And you both, it's crazy because this person loves you just as much as you love them. But they weren't ready. They were just, should we take this or no? Yeah. All right. Same thing. Same energy. I feel like this person is in your energy or around you feeling these feelings. Y'all talk to me in the comments. Who was talking to their twin flame? Who is this person coming back that may have come? <laughs> what is happening here? So we have, can we start over? This person wants to start over. So we got, can we start over? I don't know what I want. Twin flame. I'm intimidated by you. I check on you from afar. I feel terrible for hurting you. There was somebody um, interfering in our relationship on top of our, I feel like I ruined everything. And they're long distance. They're taking a break from you. They're, they separated themselves from you or they live at a distance from you. And it says, I'm so sorry. Hmm. I just feel like this person is full of crap. I mean, the feelings are real, but I feel like this person is very immature. Very emotionally unstable. I mean, because they have the capabilities of being a good partner. They're already investing in something. I feel like that's why they can't give you what you need. Show Virgo what they need to know about this connection, please, spirit. Dang. I feel like that was the that's the communication card. I'm definitely about to change change something around because I don't like having to keep getting the cards. I have my little chair down here that I put my foot on. 
All right, because my chair rolls around everywhere. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords here. The High Priestess. So somebody could be getting a message from a Pisces. I feel like, Virgo, there was something that you shined the light on. Some type of action. Somebody's thinking about coming towards you. Somebody could be thinking about um, the communication or visiting you. It's something here that this person is thinking about deeply. What else is here, Spirit? Wow. So we have this Empress energy here. Somebody could be dealing with the Taurus for sure. We have the Hermit and the Empress. Both of them could represent Taurus. We have um, the Ace of Cups here with the High Priestess. So I feel like somebody is using their intuition to see that this person is only after emotional fulfillment right now. I feel like this is like fling energy. Like this person is not really, they love you, but they're not saying it. Your intuition tells you that it's a lot of emotions here. Um, like they feel very strongly for you. I feel like you know that. Okay. But I also feel like you're shining the, fact, the light on the fact like this person has a woman, a person or man in their life. They are already with someone. Hmm. I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you off their mind because this this situation is different. We got the Empress here and the Empress. So I feel like somebody thinks about marrying you. Somebody said feels like you should be their husband or their wife. You could feel this way about somebody, Virgo. But that energy is here. And I feel like you make this emperor energy or this, this male energy very happy. Or either for my male Virgos, this person, this female energy, empress energy, makes you very happy. But there's interference here. There's a water sign here. Another female here. So this person is dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Male or female. For some of you, this person is dealing with a fire sign. Hmm. King of Wands energy. This person steps out of the relationship for my female Virgos. This person was trying to come towards you. Or they did. And you have a soft spot for this person. I see justice in the tower. Wow. Hmm. Show me the communication for Virgo, please. Talking about a third party. Somebody's guarded. There, um, I feel like somebody feels like a wounded warrior or something here. Like it's an uphill battle. Show me what the hermit is shining the light on. I feel like the hermit is shining the light on the fact that this person is working with somebody already. We got the Queen of Wands here representing the other woman. There are the we <laughs> We got the High Priestess on the board, the Queen of Wands on the board, the Queen of Cups on the board. Wow. And we got the Moon card with another female on the board. This person is hiding the fact that they are seeing other people or have multiple options. I feel like you know this. And this person is trying to put you in a third party situation. Yeah. They want to move forward with the secrets. Look at this. They're a manipulator. So they're narcissists. They only care about their own feelings for right now. I mean, because they're already attached to somebody. Look, they're confused about why they love you so much and why this situation is so deep. Look, they cannot stop thinking about you. They're sad because they want you. Like the card said, it's exciting when y'all together, when you are together and they really care for you. Look, they try to connect with you in the 5D too. This person knows that you're intuitive. They think about you and they try to connect with you. Like, I feel like right now this person is trying to send you energy to tell you that they miss you. And they're burdened. They have a lot on their plate. They're weighed down. And not only that, they're getting abused by their partner. There's blood all over this. I feel like somebody is, like, definitely um, giving this person a run for their money. But I feel like karma has a way of getting things in order. Because this person tried to play with you at one time. I feel like this person was making you feel like you weren't worth it. Or something like that. Yeah, but that's what we have here. This is deep. Yeah, look at this. The tower. Holding back. And page of wands. Five of cups. 
crying over spilled milk. I feel like somebody could have gave themselves to this person, perhaps. Yeah, and they only wanted sex. You didn't realize that. Holding back money, holding back investing. Yeah. Somebody, they were, yeah. The tower. Whew, Virgo. So I feel like them, you should definitely just let this person go. Like, you have things coming towards you. This person can't stop thinking about you. Look at this. We got the Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. For some of you, this person may be sick, but like the card said, you don't have to worry. I feel like you may not have known, but you don't have to worry. I feel like you're good. Strictly sexual. Unavailable and warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. And this connection is passionate but not enduring. So I feel like this person is really only in it for the sex right now. They're already connected. Your true love is already a part of your life. Wow. Firm boundaries are needed now. I saw these cards earlier. Some of them. Yeah, so that's what Spirit wants you to know. Time for you to put your guards up. Okay? You can't afford to play with this person. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to block your um, incoming blessings in love and finances. If you deal with this person, you're going to be in another karmic cycle. So it's really not worth it. All right, my lovies, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for being here with me. If you want a personal reading, book me by email closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. And I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, Virgo.